uh, tutorial on how to uh, install VirtualBox and run Ubuntu Desktop on VirtualBox. Okay, um, everything I'm doing I'll put in the description box so you'll easily be able to find the links and just uh, um, you know click on the links and, and work that way so you don't have to follow everything I'm doing. Okay, so first of all you're gonna want to download VirtualBox. Okay, so go Google search VirtualBox, VirtualBox, downloads. Okay, choose your operating system. I'm using Windows. If you're using Mac, select Mac. I'm using Windows. Okay, okay, save file and install VirtualBox. Once you've installed VirtualBox, you'll get this little icon over here or on your desktop somewhere if you choose to have it on your desktop okay once you've done that you're going to want to install power iso if, uh, if you don't have power iso okay uh, download it from CNET download so just download it. I've done I've done these already, so I don't feel like doing it all over again. Okay, and you're gonna want to download Ubuntu. Desktop. Download. Okay, you want to choose your operating system, which if you got 32 bit or 64, I've got 32. Um, you obviously going to want to choose the latest version, which is 10.10. 10. Okay, and you're going to go start download. Okay, and this is where a lot of people make mistakes. You don't want to open with PowerISO or anything. Just just save the file. Just save the file, okay? Like I've said, I've done this, so I'm not going to do it again. But save the file. And once uh, you've downloaded the downloaded the Ubuntu ISO file, um, and it should take about 20 minutes, um, depending on your internet speed, um, you're gonna want to save it to your uh, desktop like by dragging it to your desktop from your downloads, or just save it in a in a, in a separate folder. Um, I, I put it on my desktop just because it's easy to find. Um, because you're gonna have to find it later on, and the easier it is to navigate to. Uh, simpler will be so um, now you've downloaded so you've downloaded all of those things uh, what you can do is open uh, your virtual box okay no, I'm not gonna actually yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna start a new one because I've already got a bunch of and I, I don't want to delete it or whatever so uh, I'm just gonna go new so you're gonna go new too okay you can read this if you want no need to just select next okay tap Ubuntu or whatever you want to call it um, this is going to be my second one I've done quite a few of these before so I'm just going to say second so I don't get them confused um, you should shouldn't have to select Linux or Ubuntu if you type in Ubuntu okay um, you can uh, choose how much RAM you want to um, give Ubuntu to play with. I like to give it around a gig so it's not too too laggy and slow and it kind of loads at a good pace. Let's give it about a gig. Create new hard disk. Next. You want you want to choose dynamically expanding storage. Um, if you read it it'll tell you that um, you have the option at a later stage to give the operating system more mem more storage space if uh, if you feel like you wanted to to have more like you know if you reach the cap you can add more space to it so it's, it's a good option to select um, you can leave it at 8 gigs for now because you can change it at a later time finish finish okay so here it is about two second or for me Ubuntu second, you'll just have Ubuntu or whatever. Okay, then 
you want to select start okay this is where the installation process actually starts for Ubuntu in VirtualBox okay you can read that you can read that if you want okay you want to select on the folder okay remember I told you to save on your desktop or somewhere like, easy to find select desktop okay I want I'm not going to yeah, desktop edition here it is 10.10 .10. okay 630 693 sorry megabytes next for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna skip through the installation all well, the long installation parts so you can just easily follow you have to wait Yeah, you don't want to try Ubuntu, you want to install Ubuntu and you want to select English because you're probably English if you're watching this okay this plugs into power source oops no I'm not at the moment but it's okay uh, select download updates while installing and install third-party third software if you want to um, I'm not going to do updates right now just because I want to do a quick installation and I've already done this before so it's okay you should select download updates for installing erase you want to erase and use the entire disk yes uh, this is correct yep that's correct if it's if it looks like this you're on the right track hit install now here you choose your time zone I'm in New York so I'm gonna hit forward it should automatically detect where you are, so... My keyboard layout is USA, USA... Select forward... Okay, uh, put your name, Kevrev... Seven... Okay, um... Your computer's name, I'm gonna call it Kevrev7 Virtual Box. Uh, pick your username, Kevrev7. My password, so let's be selected. Um. Wow, look at that, I got a, a weak password. So, anyways, just for tutorial purposes. Um, you're going to want to select require my password to log in. Okay, so the main installation will probably take around 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, once it's done, you'll, you'll get this screen. And uh, you want to select restart now. Restart, okay, hang on. Restart now. Okay, then right click on the disk and you want to remove this little guy okay and it should boot up please remove installation disk from tray and press enter so we've already moved the installation I told you to right click and select the check off wherever it's ticked just tick it off again okay and then uh, select enter and it will restart Point ten. And there you have it. Here's my name, type in my password. And I should be able to log in fine. to um, if you guys have any questions or anything just uh, send me a message and I'll respond I also have uh, other tutorials on Linux in about a week or two um, and I'll keep you guys updated if you want okay thank you and I hope you enjoyed the